Thank you, Rosanna, uh, for kind uh, introduction. And thank you for giving us the opportunity to introduce our uh, <coughs> development uh, for the high performance computing uh, at Fujitsu. I'm very excited to present our activities to you. My name is Toshiyuki Shimizu. My name is Toshiyuki Shimizu, and I'm in charge of development of the uh, Fujitsu's high-end supercomputer systems. Today, I would like to uh, introduce Fujitsu's approach for the high-performance computing, and then I will describe our additional effort for the <clears throat> to make the post-K a resounding success. Then I'll talk about the compute, uh, compiler development focusing on the performance and software compatibility. Let's begin. Okay. As you know, Fujitsu provide HP solution to satisfy customer demands from the hardware to software and applications. Fujitsu provide and develop high-end supercomputers with originally developed CPU and interconnect, and also develops x86 cluster systems. In addition to that, Fujitsu also developed the, uh, si uh, system software <coughs> to realize single system image operations. We have been focusing on the high performance high availability and high reliability. Today, I would like to talk about the <coughs> high-end system. Here, maybe I can make this one, okay, around here, <coughs> okay. Uh, this is a, uh, <coughs> Fujitsu high-end supercomputer development roadmap. You can see the <coughs> commercial product line and along with the uh, national project. Here is a uh, commercial product uh, originated from the K computer. We developed a prime HPC FX10, FX100, and there will be the future commercial product. The latest supercomputer, the FX100, we developed the original CPU and interconnect. The interconnect is integrated in the CPU directly. The, <coughs> the SIMD is enriched and double its width compared to the previous uh, generation. In parallel, we develop the system software known as Technical Computing C, or TCS, to support originally introduced technologies. As for the national project, we are developing the successor of the K computer, known as Host K, with Riken. Here is the future of the POST-K. The POST-K utilizes Fujitsu original CPU core that support ARM instruction center architecture, <coughs> supporting SVE, scalable vector extension. The CPU and interconnect or TOF is built on the <coughs> Fujitsu's proven <clears throat> supercomputer uh, microarchitecture. So the POST-K will be compatible with its predecessors in terms of programming models and provides high performance operation, uh, high performance for the applications. Riken and Fujitsu <coughs> develops system software together. This enables the, the high performance and low power consumption 
operations. As for the applications, many applications are developed and optimized based on the priority issues and exploratory challenges. Okay. This shows the uh, uh, post case uh, uh, software stack. Riken and Fujitsu are developing these <coughs> uh, using the co design scheme with uh, software developers or application developers. So, components uh, written in blue letters are developed by Riken. Here and here. So, the others are by Fujitsu. The post K support multi OS system, multi kernels. So, Linux OS and lightweight kernel, known as MC kernel, is supported. This realizes <coughs> uh, scalable execution environment for application. Okay. For to make the post K more useful, <coughs> uh, all of you may agree the most important components for a computer are applications. <clears throat> PostK also need to have more and more applications from the open source software and ISBs. In order to attract many OSSs and uh, ISBs, we have to work hard to make the post K uh, high performance on real application. <coughs> you, uh, to lower the TCO, the post K low power consumption will help, and water cooling is also a help. Complying with de facto standard can lower the barrier to develop and port applications. But more importantly, <coughs> through above condition and effort, Fujitsu have uh, <coughs> worked very hard to collaborate on the <coughs> prosperity of ARM HPC ecosystem. Okay. As we discussed in the previous page, Fujitsu works very hard to make the post high performance hardware and software with combining open and standard configurations. The post K support or comply with SBSA server based system architecture and SBBR server based boot requirement and support vector length agnostic. These realize or these assure binary compatibility within ARM platforms. The system software for the post K also compatible with ARM platforms, other ARM platforms. Fujitsu is enhancing and maintaining uh, system software to lower the barrier for single source development. In order to reduce the time consuming effort to adapt a certain or specific platform, the compatibility of the compiler behavior and option is also important. Fujitsu has its original and powerful compiler, but has some incompatibility around these uh, <coughs> areas, unfortunately. For further, okay, for further effective development, Fujitsu is working and collaborating on the Krang project, Krang project, to realize extremely application performance on the ARM platforms, including 
post K. <clears throat> okay. Software written in various <clears throat> styles and languages should be accepted and compiled to the binary with hyperformance and portable. This technology will help for the high performance binary, binary. So this technology includes auto parallelization for many core architecture, auto vectorization for scalable vector extension, and strong software pipeline with loop vision. These technologies are also enhanced and optimized for the post-K microarchitecture features, such as rich and wide CMD and sector cache. Okay. This slide shows the auto vectorization for the ARM SVE. Fujitsu compiler fully compliant with ARM SVE. So the risk memory access is vectorized utilizing the uh, 512 bit SIMD registers. The <coughs> predicates and uh, vector length agnostics are also supported. These various types of loops can be vectorized. Okay. Uh, this slide shows the uh, simplified backend optimization flow of the uh, Fujitsu compiler. As a first step, loop fusion is applied to reduce required resources, such as registers. After that, the software pipelining is applied to increase uh, instruction level parallelism. Then the uh, Fujitsu compiler realized the best utilization of hardware functions and resources for the post K. So I will show the, uh, uh, these technologies' effectiveness on a real applications. So we use a Nikon DC Mini for the application from the uh, priority issue of the post-K project. This is a real application. So we uh, evaluate the performance on the, our latest machine, FX100, and number of registers are narrowed to 32 in order to reflect the ARM um, V8 architecture. So by applying software pipelining with loop vision and uh, <coughs> structure of array uh, style data layout optimization, <coughs> we can see the 72% speed up per core. The results is normalized by result of the computer. So we can say that over two times faster than K computer, the FX10 with uh, narrow registers. Okay. This tentative result encourages us to think that the further performance improvement can be seen on the post K by utilizing these technologies. To summarize my presentation, Fujitsu provide high-end supercomputer with original CPU and interconnect for years. Now, Riken and Fujitsu are developing the <coughs> post-K for extreme application performance and low power consumption, or uh, <coughs> low power consumption. So the post K expecting more application from OSSs and ISBs through growing ecosystem. 
for f the <coughs> to make the post K for a resounding success, we are working hard to realize high performance and de facto standard compliant hardware and software. As for the uh, ARM HPC ecosystem prosperity, uh, we are seriously <coughs> considering the binary compatibility within ARM platforms and software compatibility with x86 clusters to make the open and highly optimized compiler we are working with and contributing on CRAN and optimizing the performance to the ARM architecture. Our tentative evaluation results are very helpful and encouraging. The <clears throat> we can see that the uh, post K surrounding success. Thank you very much. The uh, sixteen four. I actually have a question. Would actually anybody do you think anybody would actually ever use thirty two bit in the context of HPC in kind of in the X scale era? <laughs> <laughs> well, the uh, supporting uh, sixty four uh, is essential and uh, uh, no uh, thirty two bit. Uh, the ARM require not to have, so the fully uh, compatible or comprising the ARM specification. Um, of course. Yeah, yes. Uh, I, I cannot disclose. <laughs> okay, well, then I'll thank you again. Good, good Thank you very much.